got a question from Corey Murray wanted to know about explanation of shooting from a tree stand and uh, how to compensate for the angles. Um, it, he's, he said that he's been told that you need to aim a little lower or how to shave yardage and he, to his understanding that a straight line is a straight line. Well that is true but when you're in a tree you have telemetry to play with and you, the reason you'd want to shave yardage is because it's not the, the exact same yardage that you measure as it is shooting downhill. So commonly depending on how high you are or the angle that it is you're going to need to shave a yard or two off usually if it's a pretty steep angle. Another thing, just by doing that, it forces you to aim a little bit lower because we always have problems of aiming too high and hitting the deer too high because they tend to want to drop. Another, and another reason you want, to, you want to try to aim low is because uh, when we shoot from a tree stand, people forget to bend at the waist. They actually just draw the bow back and then drop their bow arm, whereas you want to draw the bow back and bend at the waist so you keep that triangle, your personal triangle, the same. Um, the fine folks at Bushnell have come up with this range finder which, with the arc system, which is the ang angle range compensator, which actually tells you those things. And this thing is to the T. I mean, it'll tell you from straight on, which is a zero angle, to when you angle it down, it'll tell you the degree of angle that you're going to shoot and how many yards it reads, which would be, say, 30, and then how many yards to actually shoot it for. So it'll tell you 30 and if it's a 44 degree angle to shave two yards off of it. So this thing does all the compensating for you so that you know. But the biggest thing is just always remember, you know, if it's if it's inside 30 yards and you're 20 foot or higher, always don't be afraid to, you know, you just about can't aim too low, just shave a couple of yards off. And that's the reasons why is because of the angle that you hold the bow and you want to force yourself to aim low. But to instill the confidence, I always practice, you know, I always tell people to practice. Jack yourself up in a tree stand and shoot those angles. Get yourself a 3D target and shoot those angles so that you know when you go to the woods what your bow is doing and what it's capable of. And that way there won't be a shadow of a doubt. You know what you know your equipment and you know what it's gonna do. Good luck, man. Appreciate it.